This section of the training will cover how to set up the microscope for a 3D Z-Stack acquisition, one of the most common types of images captured on a confocal microscope. To begin with, select the Z-Stack tick box to turn on this multi-dimensional acquisition mode. You will see that the Z-Stack menu will appear within the software. You can then expand this and tick the Show All Tools button. For Z-Stacking, there is two modes to choose from in the Zen Black software. First, Last and Center mode. We are going to begin with using the First, Last mode. Begin by turning on a live scan and adjust the focus wheel to the top and bottom of your sample. When at the base of your sample, select Set First button and then adjust focus to the top of your sample and select the Set Last button. Once you have defined the first and last slice of your 3D scan, you can stop the live preview and adjust the step size or slice number. We recommend using the optimal button, which applies the correct step size based upon the Nyquist theorem. This is based upon your chosen objective and wavelength selected. For this example, we have nine slices spaced 360 nanometers apart, covering a range of just under three microns. To begin the capture, we now select the Start Experiment button, which will begin the acquisition. The 3D model will show you the slice that you're currently imaging. There are also different contextual image menus when you capture a 3D image. The gallery view will show you a 2D overlaid image of each slice, and you can turn on text labels by selecting the checkbox at the bottom of the screen. There is also an ortho view, which displays an orthogonal viewer to show the XY, XZ, and YZ images. These update by moving the lines. The cut view allows for 3D re-slicing of your data set, while the 3D viewer lets you explore and rotate the data in three dimensions. The info tab also has more information now, including the step size and slice spacing details. Next, we can get a new image on the screen by running live. We can then stop this and select center mode in the Z-Stack menu. Using the crop tool located at the bottom of the window, we can resize and rotate the field of view. We can also increase the slice number to something well above our current number and select the range select button. This performs an XZ slice vertically through our sample quickly showing us the bottom and top of our sample. The red horizontal lines denote the Z-stack range, with the green line showing the center slice. These can then be adjusted as required, and if you have trouble selecting the true center due to the line moving, you can lower your slice interval to a smaller number. You can also reset the crop area in the adjustment menu but be sure to also recheck the scan area settings as well. You can again select the start experiment to capture the Z stack. Note that this capture has been sped up. For center mode, you do not have to use the range select tool. You can simply adjust focus until you're in the middle of your sample, select the center button and define either the range or the number of slices. Irrespective of the Z-Stack acquisition method used, you can gain access to the Gallery Image tab and a slider at the bottom of the screen in the Dimensions tab to explore your data. And again, you can use this Auto Scale button for display adjustments.